Hey guys, Ben, 406 Garage, and uh, welcome to another edition of Ben Finds an International, and Casey comes over to help me go get it. I know we've played this record a few times, and it's on repeat, but we're doing it again. And today will be a pretty cool one. Now, what's different about today is this guy that I'm getting the truck from is a friend of mine. I've known for, gosh, almost 30 years now, and... Uh, he is a car dealer and has been saving old muscle cars and trucks for the better part of four decades. And he saved a lot of cars from the Crusher, he saved a lot of cars from towing yards, he's bought a lot of cars from people over the years and stuff like that. So he has amassed a vast collection of vehicles. And when I say vast, I mean a lot. We're going to go to his place today and uh, I'm not sure how much of it he wants us to film or whatnot because he doesn't want to be bombarded with phone calls and questions and things like that. But I think that the location we're going to now, which is his farm, um, I think he has like 350 or 400 cars and trucks. And that's not an exaggeration. Like that, yeah, like 350, 400 trucks, cars. Anyway, I'm buying an international from him. It's one he's had for a while that he bought from a buddy of his many, many years ago, who is the original owner. So um, it's a cool truck. It's something that uh, I've had one of these before and I sold it and I shouldn't have. So I told him if he ever wanted to sell this one that I would, I would buy it. And uh, I definitely don't need it, <laughs> but it'll be nice to have. So, you know, whatever we're we're gonna just we're gonna go get it so casey will be here in a few minutes and we're gonna jump in his big truck with the zach lift and uh run out to this guy's farm and take you guys along for the ride so come along for the ride it'll be fun okay i just got done telling the people that you were gonna show up and you were probably gonna say something like well ben bought something else so i guess i have to come over to his house and haul it home for him yeah so That's what I was gonna do. i'm ruining casey's video He's here. Part of the deal. Yeah. And like I told you guys, we're going to go to my buddy's place that I'm buying this truck from. And uh, he's got quite the horde. Oh, I love hordes. Yeah. And uh, he said we can film it somewhat, but he doesn't want anyone to know where it is because he doesn't want the phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I could just tell the people the if feeling. they see anything in the, in the video that they want that they could just, you know, give you a call. He's like, no, don't do that. Please don't do that. He's like, my phone will never stop ringing. Let's go check out some hordes. Yeah, exactly. All right, choke down Taco Bell. Definitely feel fatter. And uh, Casey keeps talking about this horde because I used the word horde one time. I was coming and he's to very see the hordes you talked he's about. Excited. I just didn't hear the D you were putting in there. He's, so he's excited. So you guys follow along because there's going to be a bunch of stuff to see. All right, we are here. The undisclosed location. Casey's gonna turn around. I'm gonna have my sunglasses on because it's bright. And we are gonna walk over here and show you guys what we got. So, this is, this is all gonna come full circle here shortly. I'll explain to you guys why I bought this. Um, yeah, here, I'll just show you what we got going on here. That's the truck he's keeping. So don't ask. That's his. And this is what we got. This is a 1999 International 4700 DT 466, 21 foot Jerdan steel bed. It has been sitting for the better part of five years. Does run and drive, needs a little bit of work, and is going to replace. You guys have been following me long enough. No, I used to have one of these, but it was a 1995, and it was a 7.3 Power Stroke. And uh, it was a great truck, had a 19 foot aluminum bed, and I sold that when we went to rescue the uh, Harvester Hauler, the 1977 Lodestar Ramp truck. And I regrettably have sold that. I, I, I wish I'd never sold that ramp truck, or excuse me, uh, tow truck. So I've known about this truck for many, many years. My friend uh, that has this truck, I have been friends with for the better part of 30 years. And uh, I told him if he ever wanted to sell this truck, 
that he should give me a call. And about a year ago, he called me and said, I think I'm going to get rid of that old truck if you're still interested. And then went back and forth a couple times and we talked about a few different things and its fate was unknown for a little while. And then we had a conversation recently and now I own it. So I'll give you guys a little bit more of an overview when we get it back home. Obviously it needs to be washed, detailed, clean, whatever. Gonna do all the fluids, filters, probably put some LED lights in it, new simulators, things like that. So you guys will see this on the channel more and more in the future. So I'm gonna use it a lot and uh, I'm super excited about it. So we will take a little walk that way next because all those barns and stuff out there have cars and stuff and that we might want to go take a peek at so we'll be back here we're going to go load it up on casey's truck i'll show you guys that and then we'll be back to look at the old cars all right here it is on the back well not on the back getting ready to go on the back of casey's truck eventually and yeah she definitely needs some love <laughs> but uh there's a lot of good here there's definitely a lot of good check this out this is all hand airbrushed it's even got the Eagle, the Freedom Eagle right there. It's freaking awesome. So originally I thought this was just a sticker and I was gonna take it off and you know, whatever. But I found out the story of all the hand painted airbrushing and stuff from his buddy and that's 100% staying on. So yeah, those guys right there. It's not a whole lot to look at here. I'll show you guys real quick. The seats are pretty, I mean, they're trashed. Let's put it that way. It's definitely had some moisture in it. I mean, it's been sitting a long time. Um, we're gonna give it the full 406 garage everything, so it'll be fine when we're done. Uh, the really cool thing is it's 21 foot steel Jordan bed, and that is rad. Uh, that means I can haul crew cab, long bed, four wheel drive, dually on the bed easily. So, um, yeah. Pretty stoked, honestly. I know for a lot of you guys it doesn't look like as cool as it does to me, but I guarantee you this is gonna be an awesome truck. All right, and we're about ready. When we're done with this, you guys get to see the car horde, which is gonna be what everyone wants to see. So, I mean, look at it. This is a travel all. It is, it's a three quarter ton four wheel drive with the Clampets conversion. This is for sale. It's on Craigslist currently. He's got it for sale. I think it's like 2,900 bucks or 25 or I don't know. Look on Craigslist. You'll find it. 59 travel all. Anyway, uh, I just, I don't even know what to say. It's got a full like cooking stove, camper setup. Dude, this is the OG no, no, no. Overland. This is Overlanding when Overlanding was cool. Right. This is before car camping. Yeah, I can use that. Heater over there, that's what that was the exhaust for. I like this crew cab. You take a uh, windshield washer fluid bottle, there's your kitchen water. Yep, sure. This is OG Overlanding. And look, it's got... There's a bucket hanging underneath the dash. There's probably a story there. It's even got the rear seat still, the clamshell back end, all the tail lights and trim. I mean, everything is actually here. I'm impressed at how complete it is. You can put this on that rollback. No, 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 yes. no. Stop it. It's even got a closet. See it, the hanger? It's for sale, not on sale. I like that it has the OG plates on it still too. And they're truck plates. Yeah. All right, as promised, here we are. Hey, you're the tour guide. We're just the uh, we're just the peeps. Well, if you tell me if they're curious about, ask away. Oh, don't say that on camera. These people, <laughs> these people will go in the comment section and go crazy on you. This is the Mini Cooper section. Yeah, yeah quite a few. Seven. Seven. Seven Mini Coopers. Yeah, oh, there's eight Mini Coopers, eight. and there's one up front, so that's nine. nine. And there's more. Oh, there's more. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And there's a bunch of GTOs, GSs, more Trans Ams, 240Z or 260Z, I can't. 240. 
57 Chevy four door, big back window pickup, uh -huh. 58 panel. Well, well Randy, if, if we let Randy talk, we'll be here for four hours. Yeah, Actually, we, that's yeah, gen that's generous. I, I got okay, to these are coming back. I don't care what anybody says. This car is coming back. They're gonna make a splash again. The you, Irox Z's. You you missed the one you just walked past, well, which, is a, which is a five speed one. Yeah, ultra rare. I see the Corvettes are still prominent here uh, yeah, yeah, with yeah. Blackberry Splash on the side. And if you ever want to know where all the Trans Ams are, this guy has them. <laughs> Every 76 to 79 Trans Am within 500 mile radius of here. He's probably owned it, sold it, bought it, or traded it. Oh, the old front wheel drive Tornado. Oh, yeah. That's insanely straight and clean. Those are such cool cars. Isn't that cool? Completely underrated. Oh, I 928. A, uh, it was it was like a Lesney, one of those that was uh, when I was a kid. That uh, headlights were like little diamond shaped things. I like the 928 with the phone dial wheels still. And yeah, and that's unobtainium glass too, isn't it? Like the uh, glass can, on the travel wall. I, I have one for parts up there. Oh, of course you do. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> and then the Cadillac Alante. No, no, no. That's no. That's those are, uh, are these North Stars? Those are Eldorados. Eldorado with a North Star engine. Yeah, yeah. My mistake, people. I'm sorry. I'm not that good. I'm an international guy, not a Cadillac guy. I just, I just don't even you know. should be embarrassed. I don't know what to say. I'd be embarrassed too. I was just embarrassed for you. Yeah, whatever. Oh, then we got the Honda CVCCs. God, I forgot oh, how no, many of those, those you are, had. No, those are. Uh, oh, those are the 600s? The uh, 600 uh, Z Coupe. 600 Z Coupe, yeah. I love how you call out what everything is and he corrects you every time. That's, well, that's my favorite. Listen, we've been friends for. <laughs> I just figured this out the other day. 31 years. I was going to say 35. So yeah, 30, yeah, 1992. It just, it, just, it just seems long. Could you, would you stop with the commentary? <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got a little grayer. I've got a little balder. A little know. grayer. Yeah. 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 I went completely gray. You're Santa Claus. Oh, oh, oh. And okay, so back here, this is the untouched Blackberry area. Oh, we're getting to it. So each of those 40 foot. Uh, Truck trailers, trailers are filled with parts. parts. Good. So they're not out in the weather. Yes. That's Excellent. True. That is true. I gotta extend the uh we're in the high end zone. Super collection. Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. We've found the outbacks. <laughs> Crikey. Hey, they're out back. Yeah. Oh stop it. That's <laughs> terrible. Oh. I love the Buick GS. Is that a Ooh, 70? Jeep. I'm still groaning from the outback comic. Uh yeah, that is a male Jeep. You know how you can tell? The no, I didn't say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, this area back here is known as the Blackberry Overtaking. Uh, this is nothing compared to what it was in the front. And it's, I know, and you've got a guy it, back there that's taking making, care of it. We're making progress. Right. Yeah. And who just has a Mercedes 600 series just sitting here glowing uh, moss? That's a, that's a CO 500, and Perfect. I've got a 600 up front, which we'll see. We'll get there in a minute. We'll get to that. I just think they're going to be worth something one day. They will. That's Not today. today. Not today. What's that? What is this? That is a Studebaker Starlight Coupe. That is cool as all the get out. The back, it looks like the front of like a spaceship. Or like the yeah. back looks uh, like the front. Yeah. yeah. It I could go either be, way. I, I'm sure somebody's done this, but I always thought it'd be cool to set one of those reverse so the engine was in the trunk and you drove it. This looks almost like a, like a 747. Uh -huh. That's That sounds like that guy that does the lemons races that puts the cars upside down. Oh, you ever yeah. seen that guy? Yeah, I've seen he that. Yeah. He takes the body and basically flips it upside down and sets it back on the chassis so it yeah. looks like the car is driving. That's really, it's actually kind of impressive. What's really cool though is is that this is the ultimate Starlight Coupe in that it is a bullet nose. Oh, wow. So when you get up front, you'll see why it's still there. So does that make it like a one-year only, super no, rare, it, unobtainium? No, it made it for a couple of years, but uh, okay. it was just it was just an old. There's just another Trans Am super. hiding right back there with T-tops. Yeah. Probably a WS6 with a six-speed, <laughs> probably. That was you didn't get corrected that time, good job. Well, he laughed at me because it's not even close to what it actually is. No, probably. no, no, it's, it's, you're, you're not Okay, if I extend this, can I even see, it goes back like another 150 yards. Oh yeah, there's some really cool stuff back there. That we are not You'll have to come back next time when I when I've had the blackberries. When you have a D with. when you have a D Amazon. Yes. Okay. Indeed. Another front drive. Tornado. Tornado. Yep. My goodness. Yep. Suburban. Anybody? You know, if you just need a little half ton yep. suburban to drive around, here's one right here. Another six hundred coupe. More Mini Coopers. A, uh, an Opel uh, GT. Opel GT. 
28. Hey, and there's another Mini Cooper. Oh yeah. And that's a Buick. Uh, 40. Hold on, let that was a 48. Say. No, oh. I'm done. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> just, just stop. Fourth Gen Forerunner. It's Toyota Celica. Doesn't surprise me. There's a Starsky and Hutch car. I don't remember what they are, but. Uh, that's actually a Ranchero. Okay. Uh, but it's I'm the same. I'm generation. still same still generation. batting a thousand with same not generation. Yep. <laughs> still batting a thousand if not knowing what the hell I'm looking at. Perfect. And that big back window is rare because it's a GMC. I can tell by the hood. And it's a factory V8 automatic truck. The Hydromatic. Yeah, that is a way cool truck. Yeah, it is. Those are very rare. That's actually one of my favorites. You can't really tell from its condition. But... <sighs> my buddy Rick Maylander, who watches this channel, has a channel in Malala called Classic Truck Rescue. And all he does is 55 to 59 Chevy pickups and GMCs. I, I, he has good taste. I have he, a ton of them. He would have every one of those. He's got a bunch of cameos. He's got several of these 50, 50s GMCs that have the front end like that. We just walked past over there a uh, 58 uh, factory V8 fleet side long bed. And I have a uh, 59 fleet side, or is it 58? Anyway, fleet side short bed up front. They aren't cameos, but they're the right. actual fleet side. Right, it's the same truck, but it's steel bed instead yeah, of yeah. fiberglass. And we have another Outback in the wild. <laughs> and a Nissan hard body. These are actually becoming more rare. If you hold it too. up, you can actually see a, a little classic Jaguar over there. I don't know if anyone can see these. We'll just do this. We'll, how, we'll do it again. How come my camera is taller without you? Because you're pole. six foot, seven and a half inches <laughs> tall. <laughs> Rick, what did you think? All right, Volvos. Math, math skills. Oh, an HHR. I like those. Don't make fun of the HHRs. I, I like don't, them. because I like them so much better than a PT Loser. Well, I actually have a couple of those. Too. I know, but I mean. Below, if you're a PT, you have a PT Loser. Did, did you know? <laughs> and you're offended did, by what Ben said. Did you know that, <laughs> you know that the same, same guy uh, the designer. designed them both? Yeah. Uh, that doesn't surprise me at all. Maserati, uh, yeah. Turbo. There bunch of sob a couple of sobs a 48 nash yeah, a free candy van a, a uh yeah tdi bug probably a shorty chevy van yeah uh no that's a uh oh the beetle i uh, not the beetle the uh rabbit nose thing is a pickup with a factory sunroof not that it came from the factory that way but <laughs> but as craigslist says factory <laughs> factory installed sunroof yeah it just like when they spray paint the wheels and they say wheels powder coated it rebuilt. is a it is a factory sun or fun, no it would be a yeah it'd be a factory sunroof. i gotta go see does it leak like a sieve it is a factory sunroof if when it was on the rabbit that they took it from is it the sunroof came from a factory yeah does it have is it a fish bowl inside full of water Probably. oh my gosh this is the color of my old one i had the light blue one of these pickups with are like just emerging from the black yeah they're all going to come back eventually just a matter of so weed, weed whacking working full time clearing blackberries to yep. open all this back up yep i would totally buy this what helicopter are we going to get it out of here with? say again they, behind you is, is a really cool car AMC rebel coupe it says rebel i don't know what that means but it's, it's cool. an AMC Yes, with the Scooby Doo van in front of it. Yep. Do uh, you have the tailgate for this rabbit there truck? There's a tow truck back here. Yeah, there's a 56 Ford tow truck right there. Oh, that. That, that belongs to our, uh, our buddy Jeff. Oh, nice. Do you have the tailgate for this rabbit? Um, supposedly, a buddy of mine grabbed one before they were crushed on those ones I told you about, and I, I'm supposed to have a t tailgate for it. Cool. I want to see this tow truck really quick. We'll be right back. Can you find it? I remember this tow truck. You've had this forever. Like, I bet you've had this 20 years. Yeah, it's, this is like early purchase of the farm oh, truck. Don't grab the blackberry. How did you get back here? It's got utility box on the side and storage here. So this was a functioning local tow truck. I actually remember this truck from back in the day. Back, a lot of them were a sheep, had a lot of them were just a straight pulley. I have pictures of this one. It wasn't in the Look blackberry the bushes. It's growing on the inside of it. I know. The, he's had this, I bet, at least 20 years. Because I remember it back in the day. I am so poked up by blackberry. Oh, you're fine. I have plastic body parts. It's not fine. You're fine. You're you're biomechanical. The rotator light broke, though. That's a bummer. This is a super cool old truck. Factory V8 and everything. I think it's a 56. And there's another 
rows of cars. And they're all under the blackberries too. Yeah, there's another 20 cars right there. If we don't get back over there and continue this tour, we're going to be here all day. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Out, out, and we haven't even been in the barns yet. Yeah, we're, we haven't even gone inside. That was just the exterior barn tour. This is what's left outside. Right, this is the we did the, the outside loop. Another Trans Am with T tops, panel van. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. Uh, honestly, not no, not not no. scripted for. I mean, like like legit. Serious. I know we're joking around. Of, like I've seen a lot of collections. Like you have a ton of international. Yes. And it's a cool, crazy collection of every different international. Right. I see people like collections of Chevys. I've right. seen people with collections of this, trucks, whatever right. it is. This is everything. This is an eclectic collection like, of like every genre too. Yeah. It's, it's like, new and old and he definitely vintage. Definitely likes Transamps. Yes. But there's GMs. There's everything. a GM everything. Yeah. Everything is here. Yeah. And it's like what is even in. We don't know. He, he was telling me that he's un uncovered some of the stuff he didn't even realize he remember he still had. Well, you have to, this thing was last titled in 1990, 1999. Here, I'll, I'll this is Brian that has been killing blackberries like a madman. Brian is the reason we can actually walk through here. Brian yeah. is a savior. <laughs> so thank, you <laughs> thank you to Brian to make it we can actually walk through here and yeah. show the people the internet. Well, Brian, Brian is reintroducing me to cars I forgot I owned. I was yeah. just saying to Casey, I go, there's cars out here that he's finding that he forgot that he actually owned. Yeah. 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 There's some nice ones out here too. I know. Yeah. Definitely a lot of them. We just, we just need a huge cover over all of it so the rain stops getting to it, so that the blackberries stop okay. growing on it. Get me uh, on YouTube. Maybe YouTube can pay me for a There you go. A, a roof. So if there's any building sponsors out there that want to donate like about a half a million dollar building to cover all this stuff, and comment we'll down below. We'll be happy to plug them. Oh yeah, they'll be on the internet. <laughs> yeah, it's down there. Are we going to the last right. barn? Walk towards the 55 or 6 Buick thing. I'm not even turning this camera off. I'm going to make Patrick edit all this. Oh, you got stuck. Yep, you that that was, yep, I'm going to... I saw that movie happening. Right between my legs and got me I saw that movie happening. Going the other way. No, thank you. Other way. Get away. Okay. Honda Del Sol. Another 200 series Mercedes. MR2 mid-engine, Datsun V210. I'm fat and out of breath. Literally, fat and out of breath. Okay, here we go. Right. Nissan Titan, not part of the collection. Okay, well, not okay. for sale, people. Got a moonroof. Oh, gotta, gotta keep that it. Okay. Right. Look at this, it just goes and goes and goes. Like I know, that. we are in the official chicken bar number one. Yes. Numero uno. Is it in a little bit of a state of disrepair? Uh, yeah. Still, Still better than being outside. I need to start a GoFundMe page. No, don't don't do that. <laughs> People that start GoFundMe pages, you don't you don't want to be I that guy. Joking. Yeah. I'm joking, All right, Triumph, Mercedes, Beetle. That's got sixty thousand original miles on it. Or no, that was got twenty some odd thousand actual miles on it. So this is a GTP, so that's a 3.8 supercharge? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, and it's two doors, which makes it super rare. And, and it's cool. It's funny. It's rare like a Pinto wagon with wood paneling. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't like it till you try it, man. I actually have one of eight Vega panel GT V8 wagons. Yeah, See, now that's cool. Yeah. And I want to trade GM for a new E-Ray. Okay. GM should have that. Casey and I are big fans of the uh, Edison boys up in Canada that are making electric semi trucks that are going to kick Tesla's butt. Anything to kick that? Yep, guy's that butt. just keep it P, keep it PG thirteen. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we don't want to get demonetized. Yeah, YouTube likes true. to demonetize when you oh, start yeah, saying bad I'm words. Sorry. I'm, I'm that is a very clean Trans Am. I'm learning the business with That's T tops. A clean, uh, too. Yeah, right it's got some poop on it or stuff. Clean has different meanings. Well, if it, if it will wash off, it's clean. I 100% agree with that. This car, this is a 6.6 uh, car, isn't it? Because of the hood scoop? That HHR right there. That's the beginning of HHR. You used to drive that all the time. I remember that oh, car. That's the one that I went to, back to Indiana and drove. Yeah, you drove, you drove it to my house. 
You stopped at my house in that. Yeah, there you go. yeah that that was on that trip did when I you're. Tell you, did I tell you what was wrong with that? No, but you bought it at like a Copart, didn't yeah, you, or something? Yeah, it had, it had a crack in each side of the. Uh, uh... Hello, where's the brain? Ah, uh, with a turbo, you have a intercooler. Oh, no. okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the intercooler intercooler was cracked, so it had no boost. So when you... I put a new intercooler in it, and it's. Uh, Coming in at a little over 300 horse. Yeah, so it's fun to drive and it gets 30 miles a gallon. And it's five speed. Excellent. That's and here's another one. Yeah, that's, a, that's not an SS. And then this. Still a good car. And, and another front drive Eldorado. Yeah. What's up? No, uh, those Eldorados were really good. Okay, this is how you know it's been sitting here well. Half. Oh, you can't even see. It's so dark. Are these golf cart tires? No, they're. Let me. Okay, we got to get a flashlight here, people. Because no one's going to believe how far this Cadillac is in the dirt. <laughs> Seems like it's heavy. I can pop it like a basketball. Look at this. It's like almost half the wheel depth into the muck. Well, it was a soft pull. <laughs> <laughs> to begin with. Yeah, it's so soft, the fan just fell out of the ceiling. Yeah. All right, Honda... I don't even remember what Ele element. More Mercedes. I don't know there's everything there's a here from like these Trans Ams and Corvettes, all stuff to Honda Elements. Mm -hmm. What is the Patrick Swayze movie where he has one of these Mercedes's things? A Mercedes's? Yeah, you know what I mean. He was he was a bartender or Roadhouse. Or Roadhouse. But this is. Didn't he have a Riviera? He did, but he had the Mercedes for the the Sunday driver. Remember, oh, he had the really nice Mercedes that never came out of the garage. But it was yeah. You were building this at Heartbeat City 30 years ago, and it looked exactly the same as this. It does right now. It was like lift kit, wheels, tires, you know, all this is great. Right. Turbo 400, three quarter tons. Six fuel suspension. Six inch super. But 30 years ago, it looked just like this. He did everything, and then it just stopped. I got busy. With everything else. With these, yeah. And I still have the brand new 38 fives with the center lights. Which would look amazing when you put them on here. Years new old stock. But they're actually, if they haven't been outside, they actually made tires to last, so I'm not too worried about it. If they've been inside, they're probably fine. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving because I know what time it is already. Right there. Yeah. What this, year is this? this? 78. 78? That's a 78 Super Beetle. I had a 69. I got that running and driving and parked it in here, and that was it. Yeah, mine had a bad battery. And, and what a surprise. Another Mini Cooper, but it is another S as well. So supercharge. Another 600 Honda. Uh, so Holy Moses. Yeah. 70-ish Cadillac convertible. 69. 69. I'm just trying to bat a thousand, Casey. Stop. But looks very Similar to 70. Yeah. I love, I love how it's just trying to help you out. Look how that little bit of light's coming through that window and it's shining all over that Cadillac like it's glowing, like like the gods are telling it, You must drive me! Yes. You must drive me. Alright, that's way too cinematic, sorry. <laughs> the watch time well, the Yeah, look. Gonna that seat light. is going to get in trouble with that light and right there. Okay. So and now, come. barn number two. More BMWs and Mercedes. That So. That is an interesting thing. We were talking about that out there. There's a lot of really cool GM stuff, but there's some European flavor tossed in and sprinkled around here too. I have a thing mainly for GM, but also for German stuff and Japanese stuff and British stuff and some Italian stuff. All right. I think you just like stuff. This is oh. not this is not lowered. Yeah. However, well, if you look. Not a Ford. <laughs> the, the orange truck back there before. Yeah, it knows uh, how uh, where it's parked. Uh, <laughs> I can't even describe to you guys how low this is. I'm trying to show you, but it, it, holy cow. This ground is so soft in here. Oh. And the crazy thing is, and I know this because I've seen a lot of these cars, a bunch of these cars, if we took them outside and we took soap and water and, and oh, just a hose, most of these come back to like new looking condition. Don't They're just covered in dust and cobwebs. Don't look at the two turbo PT3. Two. Uh, Quad. No, quad is four. Technically, that's twin turbos. <laughs> <laughs> you got twin turbo PT cruisers. Yeah. 
And look, we got skylights on this side. Yeah, not intentionally. Watch your tip. That looks like a 1.8T beetle, turbo beetle. I think that's just a regular beetle. I do have a, I do have a turbo beetle. Just, I'm trying to keep, trying to keep consistent here. Oh, I'm sorry. One or two Fords. That's actually a really clean old truck. Yeah, it is. The cab is messed up though, which is why it has a spare cab. Well, it has it's a two for one special. Yeah, two for. It's a two for. That's another four. Back. That's factory four speed, bad deal. Goodness golly. Okay. It's okay. You're okay. There you go. There you go. That is beautiful. Thank you. Totally, totally yeah. silent too. Right. It like just, it just, I didn't even hear it. Yeah. Until you said it was flying around, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah. The original Trans Am. The original '77 T top. <laughs> Well, when you say original, I think 77 is the first year of the originals, right? Of this? No, this is the, that is the car that I bought. Oh, with. this is your That's original. My first Trans Am. Doesn't okay. matter, he still wins. <laughs> I'm fighting a severely losing battle here, people. I'm just, I'm just, I hope you're enjoying this because this is not scripted. More Boat Tales Buicks. Just offering information. Oh, it's fantastic. Okay. My 16 year old son would go nuts if you have a couple of these that are manual transmissions. It is a manual transmission, uh. all wheel drive. 330 ish. 25. 25. Perfect. And another. This is the Trans Am I bought in New Jersey, and uh, Jeff drove that home while I drove the other one. Fantastic. So you just fly around, pick them up, and try to drive them home by them sight home. unseen. Yeah. That is like. What are you, Derek Beery from Vice Grip Garage? Come on. I don't know Derek, but. He's, you should, like he's a cool dude. You should watch him. He fly, he, uh, he's got a bit humongous YouTube channel. Vice Grip Garage. He, yeah, he flies around the country and buys something that's been sitting for 30 or 40 years. Yeah, it's fun. And then makes it run, and then and drives, drives it 1,400 miles home. Yeah. And films it and puts it on YouTube. It's yeah. absolutely, it's very he entertaining. Does it just because it's fun. Yeah, yeah he just does it because he, he did it before people were famous. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so did I lie about that? Was I true? See you guys later. Was, 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 I, was you, that kind of a hoarder's episode? You undersold that. <laughs> I undersold it. <laughs> it was so much better than what you said. Yeah, that was a fun deal. I'm sorry that my camera's probably got some low light issues there or whatever. Casey's gonna film filmed it all. I'll link his video in it too so you guys can see it. We're headed home. It's still many, many hours away from where we need to be. And my kids are gonna get out of school and be really mad that I didn't pick them up, so. All right, so Casey and I unloaded last night. It was dark. There's a little bit of footage of that. This thing is dirty, mossy, and grungy. I'm charging the batteries right now. And anybody that knows anything about these trucks knows this is an absolute diamond in the rough. And when I wash it up and clean it, it's gonna be killer. Look at this, hand airbrushed. It's got Bald Eagle, Freedom. It's got the Freedom Eagle, both sides. Look at that. It's awesome, America. So this has got a 21 foot steel Jerdan bed, removable sides. Those come out. It's got the PTO winch. The light bar is goofy. I'm going to fix that. Um, it's got the wheel lift and the hitch on the back so you can tow a trailer or another car. This thing's going to be super, super invaluable for all the work that we do around here. Now that the ramp truck is gone, you guys will see that in another video. Yes, I sold the Harvester Hauler ramp truck. Went to a collector. You guys will have to watch the video, hear the story of why I did that. But this is going to, for now, this will take its place. It's a uh, 1999. 4700 series. It's got a DT 466 in it and a seven speed tranny and it's rad. I'm pretty excited about it, honestly. So there'll be another video on this soon. I'm going to wash it, detail it, fully service all the fluids, all the filters, getting tires, new wheel simulators, LED light bar, LED backup lights, redo the driver's seat, probably two new batteries. It's got a coolant leak somewhere. We haven't found it yet. So I'm going to figure out what's going on with that. But uh, you guys will see this on some videos coming up in the future. So that's all for this one. Appreciate you guys watching, following along, liking, commenting, sharing, all that stuff like that. 
really helps the channel grow. I really appreciate you guys doing that. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.